Hmm, so we have one of these leather cases that seems like everything in the 70s had to come in. It's got a TI logo on it. Open this up here. Oh, it's a TI-55 calculator. What? And it works? How is that even possible? So how is it possible I got this calculator to work? Because isn't this one of those models that uses a rechargeable battery? And this is from what, the 70s or something? That's like pretty old for when it comes to re batteries and especially rechargeable ones. How, how am I making it work? What did I, oh, is that what the battery used? Oh. Now I don't know how standard of an upgrade or repair this is, but all I did was just make it to where I can use a nine volt battery in it. Because at first you'd be like, well, there's not nine volts of power right there. That's just two, what, 1.5 volt cells or something? Uh, you're actually right. This is just three volts of cells. This is actually a very early and obsolete by TI boost converter that brings this thing up to nine volts. And uh, also in some way charges things and so on. But I don't care to try to replace these cells and clean out this horribly inefficient boost converter. I didn't have a charger for it, and so I'd end up having to make one, and that seemed like too much work for something that I could just throw a nine volt in. So, really simple upgrade. We can see all I really did here is just take a standard nine volt battery clip and use some 0.1 inch header on the thing, and just attach it to the connector that's already built in. So as we can see under the blue tape here, it just has another connector here with a little space missing. And uh, the trickiest part is you can't assume that their color coding is right because they're actually wrong. The red is the negative and the black is the positive. So as you can see, it comes over here like that because you would think that uh, it would just be standard, right? Don't assume. So yeah, use uh, whatever methods you can to figure it out or get very lucky when you power it on and nothing happens, freak out and turn it off because you are wrong. And yeah, luckily everything fits in there quite fine. So yeah, kind of the thing was this was its own little unit that was shut and there was nothing stopping you from just breaking apart the piece and taking out the stuff you don't need and throwing away the extra part and you've got a back panel. If you really wanted to make things fit better you would just kind of sand out these nubs but um, with a little playing you can make it fit just fine so I don't really recommend that you have to do anything else. So here's the old battery units, inductor, cap, and a resistor as well as a diode. The uh, whole PCB is actually corroded to death, and so you'd have to deal with trying to repair that as well. All right, so we got that all shut. I collect weird and different calculators, and typically they're not TI models, but sometimes things that this catch my eye because this is a bubble LED display. And I figured if I can't make the calculator work at all because for some reason it's just completely shot, then I'll rip out the bubble display, but it works perfectly, and it uses a desk calculator. And it's a pretty nice scientific one for what it is. I don't have an idea of price on it. Just gotta say I've had this for quite a while now and this is the nine volt battery that I put in it and it's still running so it doesn't get terrible battery life for what it is. Yeah, so I'll take some photos of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.